Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. I want to keep you guys updated on things that are going on, and we are watching very closely. There's a lot of different uh, independent media news that's coming out with different things that are happening, such as Sergei Soyho uh, con contacting uh, different uh, body members that he has as far as uh, uh, you know, colleagues that he has there concerned about um, Ukraine putting together a dirty bomb that they're going to use uh, there and then blame it on Russia. Um, that I could not get confirmed from Washington, but what I did get confirmed, though, is that Russia is uh, have been heavily bombarding uh, electrical water uh, infrastructures uh, inside of Ukraine. And I'm going to play for you real, real quickly uh, Ursula von der Leyen, what she says here uh, about this. With a clear aim to cut off men, women, children of water, electricity, and heating, with the winter coming, these are acts of pure terror. And we have to call it as such. This is a moment to stay the course and we will back Ukraine for as long as it takes. And we will protect Europeans from the other war that Putin is waging. This is his war on our energy. I know that Europeans are concerned. Concerned about inflation, concerned about the energy bills, concerned about the winter. The best response to Putin's gas blackmail is European solidarity and European unity. Well, the Europeans aren't doing a whole heck of a lot to resolve that issue. And yes, it is true that Putin has cut those supplies off. But if you recall, Biden said that as, uh, if they ever went to war with Ukraine, that they would take and they would destroy the, uh, the Nord Stream uh, pipeline there that Russia has going into Germany. And of course, the United States has clearly done exactly that. Uh, I have been told that the situation is going to broaden. It's going to get much worse um, inside of Europe this winter. And, you know, there is a very strong uh, possibility that NATO is actually going to invade Belarus. Uh, that's another thing that's very concerning. And I asked, will, will um, if that were to happen... Will the uh, um, Russians actually, because of course NATO being the allies of the NATO, NATO members there, coming against Russia and of course striking Belarus to start with, knowing that Russian forces are there, and you can't even for a moment think that the Russians will not uh, respond to come to the aid of Belarus. So would this actually bring more allies on um, Russia's side in a war against uh, NATO. So, very serious situation, and there's a lot of things that are going on. I'm going to be updating you on more things a little bit later. Uh, don't forget, check out our Patreon channel. We did do some updates in there late last night there. I think you might be blessed by that as well. Uh, also, another thing that's going on right now, currently right at the White House, and let me just see if there's even any news about it. I don't even know if there's news about it, but the White House, uh, we have the railroad um, uh, people are actually there at the White House right now. Uh, let's see, uh, October 22nd. Uh, let's see, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre downplayed the setback, pointing to a cooling off period that extends to November. That, uh, she said, will provide adequate time to avert a freight rail shutdown. Now, that's what uh, Thomas Massey is saying there. But the fact of the matter is they're already back up at the White House today. Uh, they are discussing again, uh, shutting down, going on strike, and they have talked about going on strike during the holiday season. Now, Biden was trying to negotiate, give them whatever they want to calm the situation down, even offering that the government would pay for it. But it's just not working. And there is a very big concern that this is all going to be um, basically turned to a very negative uh, uh, situation here in the United States, especially during the holiday season. And they're talking about here in November when this all goes down. So right, right before the Thanksgiving holiday, everything collapsing because the railroads will shut down and go on strike. Now, it is believed from people on the inside that China is behind this, that they are behind this whole issue of the railway workers there. So I want to make sure you are aware of those things as well. 
and uh, we will continue to follow the things that are developing there. And i uh, got some interesting things we're going to be talking about later tonight. I'll be bringing on another guest tonight. We'll be talking about Nemesis or Planet X or the Blue Kachina, whichever one you want to call it there. Going to be sharing some information that uh, that is very concerning on that tonight. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.